Well, the Military Ball is an annual event that we are having for the JROTC, partly because we are required to, but we chose this year to start that tradition. To prepare for the event, oh my gosh, we had, uh, we had lists we had to put together for like uh, people who are going to be attending the ball. We had to see about getting special guests come. Part of the preparation was having to rent tables and chairs and tablecloths and such from a company. So it was definitely a learning experience. It's not only did the relationship build between myself and the other cadets, but it's just seeing that final, you know, final product of, okay, this is what all our hard work came to, it was definitely rewarding. They did work very hard all throughout the year, fundraising with uh, candy bar sales and selling barbecue. Um, so that was the reason why it was free for the cadets. They had, uh, they had their parents and the cadets themselves helping as well. So it was really a, a group effort to put this whole thing together. I'm really glad that I got to be a part of, you know, planning and being actually a part of the whole ball. One thing that we do to start off the ball is we go through what is called a receiving line. And that is where every cadet and guest will come through and the head table will be standing in a line and every cadet and their guest will come through and they will shake the hands of the head table and introduce their guest. Um, and then after that we did um, a senior introduction which was an introduction of all the cadets, the not all the cadets, I'm sorry, the senior cadets in the program. And after that we, uh, we would have the uh, toasting and actually we had Dr. R.B. Mays who was our guest speaker. He, uh, he got up and spoke for a little bit at the ball so overall it was just a very nice event. We did have one special, one actually two special guests that attended. We had Mr. Bobby Hodge who is a Vietnam War veteran and he was wounded in action and he is Cody Copeland's grandfather. So he got to come out to the ball too and we had Mr. Ethel McClure, who is Caleb McClure's great-grandfather, and he is a World War II German POW who uh, was wounded in action. They did have some time to speak with cadets, and um, some of our other guests, we had you know, some recruiters out from Paducah. We had the Marine Corps recruiter, Sergeant Bachman, and then we had two Army recruiters who could make it, um, Sergeant Garman and Sergeant Bringus. I think that my favorite part was probably when we all sang the national anthem together um, at the posting of the colors, just because it was nobody wanted to, nobody really could sing, so <laughs> it wasn't exactly the best sounding, but it was it was a lot of fun.